Hey everybody, uh, here we are finally solving two-step equations. In the last lesson we uh, wrote, uh, did I say equations, inequalities, we wrote inequalities and so so our common core strand is the same and here how do we write a two-step inequality. So remember from the, the last lesson these phrases right here gives us these inequalities. So is less than or fewer than is a less than symbol is greater than or more than greater than if you see the word at most no greater than or no more than less than or equal and then here uh, greater than or equal to is at least or no less than okay all right we're going to use that to um, uh, solve some inequality so we can we can solve two-step inequalities uh, using algebra tiles so the method is similar to the ones we used in solving two-step equations okay so um, uh, remember our algebra tiles, um, the long um, uh, with the pluses on them, or if you don't have pluses, then whatever color, I'm going to choose yellow. The yellow long ones are going to be our positive variables. So here's 4x, so we'll put in four of these guys. Okay, this is our negative variables. There's no negative variables, so I'm not going to worry about that. Here we got, um, uh, this is for the plus one, so we'll do nine of them on the right hand side and then for the minus ones we'll do uh, here minus three of them for that right there so there that is right there so add three tiles to both sides of um, uh, sides of the mat right here so that's what we're going to do now so we're going to add the reason why we're going to add three plus one tiles here so that way we create zeros right here so if we do that we got to add three over here okay now in the in one of the last the prior lessons what I did was is I um, since there's three negative tiles we didn't have three negative tiles I created three negative tiles over here but to balance it out we did three positive tiles okay which is zeros okay but looking at the at the at the math that they gave us there's not enough room right here so I'm gonna make the zero over here and just do three plus one tiles here three plus one tiles there that way we get the zeros okay there they are right there okay so these sides cancel out each other out so I'm just gonna uh, remove those right there so we'll remove those zero pairs from the left side of the map we get that right there okay now we can group them up into four equal groups here's one here's two here's three here's four Okay, let's just slide that up right there. Okay, so there it is right there. And now uh, the solution is one of those groups. So, so you pick whichever one. This says uh, x is greater than or equal to 3, or x is greater than or equal to 3, or this x greater than or equal to 3, and so on. So I chose the top one. So anyways, x is greater than or equal to 3. So why were there uh, are there three plus one tiles added to both sides of the map right here? Well, we wanted to make zeros right here to cancel out. So if, that way, when we added these three plus one tiles to both sides right here, we can cancel out these guys, and we're left with these x's right here. Okay. So since it's not possible to remove the three negative one tiles from both sides, we must add three plus one tiles to both sides, and that way we can get the zero pairs on the left side to get removed. Okay, all right. So, okay, let's use uh, algebra tiles to model and solve uh, these inequalities. Okay, all right. So, now if you don't have algebra tiles, that's cool. I never did until about a year and a half ago, two years ago, two summers ago. A colleague gave me some algebra tiles, and I finally, um, I finally started using them. So, let's go ahead and put the inequalities in. This is greater than goes right here. This is greater than or equal. That's going to go right there. Okay, and then what I'm going to do here is this is 2x which is two of the positive x tiles so let's grab a couple of those so I'll go ahead and grab oops I didn't mean to do that let's uh let's grab the x tiles let me get that out of there so here's one x tile here's another x tile and then we're going to add seven I'm going to just I'm going to skip ahead seven of these plus one tiles right here so here's one we'll keep going on the right hand side we're going to go ahead and do we'll do seven here and then do eleven of the plus one tiles over there so there they are right there okay now um, they both have at least seven plus tiles in there so let's take those out okay so I'm going to take those guys out alright now what I need to do is put these into equal groups with these guys right here so let me move these guys around I'm going to move this guy down here uh, this guy down here and uh, this guy here 
and this guy here. So now I have them in equal groups and we can divide them into equal groups. There they are divided into equal groups. So this says X is greater than two. So does this, X is greater than two. Okay, so that's our solution, X is greater than two. All right, so for this next one right here, I have to do five of the positive variable tiles right here. This is kind of big, I can't fit five of those in there, so I'm gonna, let's shrink that down a little bit first right there, okay? And then we'll just put five of these, these positive X tile, or positive H tiles in here. So here's two, three, I'm gonna do, um, I'll, I'll keep going. So here's four, and then five, and then, uh, and then right here, you guys, this is minus four. So the minus four says we're gonna do four of these red tiles right here. Okay, so here we go. So one, two, three, four. There's two, sorry, you guys. Three, four, and then when, on the right-hand side is 11. So what I'm gonna do is do 11 of the plus one tiles over here. Okay, so I have that right there. All right, now I can't take away uh, the minus tile. So what I'm going to do is add plus four tiles here, which means balance it out and add them over here. And that way the minus four tiles and the plus four tiles, they'll cancel each other out. So, so those guys are gone. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is take off this circle part right here so I can divide them up into five equal groups. So there they are divided up into five equal groups. Once you have them divided up into five equal groups, this says H greater than or equal to three. So all of these say H greater than or equal to three right there. Okay. All right. So we can apply what we know about solving two-step equations and one-step inequalities to solve two-step inequalities. Everything is the same when we solve equations except when we multiply or divide by a negative number. That's the only time it flips the inequality. So Serena wants to compete the first three miles of a 10 mile run in 45 minutes or less, so running at a steady pace. So here they give us the inequality right here, 10 minus 0.75p less than or equal to seven. That's gonna be used to find p, which is the pace in miles per hour that she can run to reach her goal. So solve the inequality, then graph and interpret the solution. So let's first solve the inequality. So first what I'm gonna do is get rid of this this 10, so I'll do minus 10, minus 10. Now when we subtract, the inequality won't flip, okay? So now, here we're gonna divide both sides by a negative 0.75p, so this side by a negative 0.75p. And when we divide by negative, it's gonna flip it over in that way, so it's gonna go to the right, okay? So um, we get n is greater than or equal to four. Did I say n? It's p actually right there, that should be p. Dang, I thought I had this fixed. Okay, whatever. So now, uh, this is where I'd ask my students, open or closed, you guys, is this an open or closed circle? Well, since it's greater than or equal to, it's gonna be a closed circle. So now we're gonna go ahead and graph that and interpret it. So let's put a closed circle on, on four and shade it to the right. Okay, there it is right there. And what does that mean? That just means that Serena has run at a steady pace of at least four miles per hour. Okay, so always try to answer it in the, in the context of the problem. All right, so Josh wants to compete uh, the first of uh, the first five mile first mile of a five mile run in ten minutes. Sorry, or less. Okay, so less than or equal to at a steady pace. So the uh, inequality five minus p over six less than or equal to four can be used to solve uh, used to find p and then the pace, which is in miles per hour that he can run to reach his goal. So first we're going to solve this inequality and then graph it, just like the last problem. Okay, so let's subtract 5. Okay, that won't uh, flip the inequality and we get that. Now, this says right here, this says opposite P divided by 6. So we're going to do the inverse of, and multiply both sides by negative 6. Don't forget, it's going to flip it to the other way. Okay, so we get uh, P is greater than 6. Close circle at 6. Shade it to the right, and then interpret. Josh has to run at a steady pace of at least six miles per hour, okay? All right, so sometimes the, um, they're going to give you some possible solutions when we plug them into the inequality. So we can use substitution to decide whether a, a given value is a solution of the inequality. For example, at gas and wash, 
gas sells for four dollars a gallon and a car wash is twelve dollars Hannah wants to have her car wash so there's minus twelve right there um, or plus twelve to the bill right there and keep her total purchase under sixty under means less than okay so that's why it's less than sixty okay the 4g is four dollars per gallon right there plus the car wash has to be less than sixty so that's the inequality that we can use to find G to find the number of gallons that she can buy. Determine which, if any of these values, is, is a solution. So does 10 work? 4 times 10 plus 12. Does 11 work? 4 times 11 plus 12. Does 12 work? 4 times 12 plus 12. So we're going we're gonna to plug all those values in right there. So let's slide that up. Okay, so we want to know, do those, are those less than 10? Well, what's 4 times 10 plus 12? Okay, so 4 times 10 is 40. 40 plus 12 is 52. This is 44. 44 plus 12 is 56. This is 48. 48 plus 12 is 60. Okay, so we get those right there. And then so the ones that are true, 52 is less than 60. 56 is less than 60. 60 is not less than 60. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, solve and graph this inequality. So first we're going to do is minus 12 minus 12. 60 minus 12 is 48, and then divide by 4, divide by 4, 48 divided by 4 is 12, so G must be less than 12. Open circle to the left, okay, and that's just a closed circle at 0, okay, it doesn't go forever and ever and ever because she can't buy negative gallons of gasoline. She can get 0 gallons of gasoline, so but she can't buy negative gallons of gasoline. That's why there's a closed circle at 0. And the open circle means that she can buy any amount up to, but not including those 12 gallons right there. All right, so here, let's circle if any of the values make the inequality true, okay? So here we're going to go ahead and plug in V equals 9, V equals 10, V equals 11. We're going to then multiply by 3, subtract 8, and are they greater than 22? Okay, so here we go. All right, so 3 times 9 is 27. 27 minus, 18, minus 8 is, um, is, 19, uh, is 19. 19 is not greater than 22. Okay, so that one doesn't work. This one, I'm not going to circle that one. See if 10 works. 30 minus 8. 30 minus 8 is 22. Is 22 greater than 22? No. If it said greater than or equal to, I'd say yes, but it just says greater than. All right, 33, 33 minus 8. 33 minus 8 is 25. Is 25 greater than 22? That's a yes. So which one are we going to circle? V equals 11. All right, let's plug in these guys for H. H equals negative 3. H equals negative 4. H equals negative 5. I'm going to multiply it by 5 plus 12. And then which one or ones are less than or equal to negative 3? Okay, so let's plug all those values in right there. Okay, so 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. Negative 15 plus 12 is negative 3. Is that less than or equal to negative 3? Yes. How about this one here? Negative 20. Negative 20 plus 12 is negative 8. Is that less than or equal to negative 3? Yes. This is negative 25 plus 12. Is that less than or equal to negative 3? We're going to find out yes on all of those so we're going to circle all three of those numbers right there all right you guys i hope that makes sense and take care